All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 dan. Dean Bodie Show. Very exciting news. We got the 800 number. What's just called the Dean Bodie Hotline, the Dean Bodie Fun Line, the Dean Bodie Line Line. The Dean Bodie Line is up. 800 878 9698. 800 878 9698. And, uh, Really fired up, so you can call that number, leave a message. You're gonna get uh, taken to an extension one, and you'll hear some cool jazz music on hold, and then you're gonna leave a nice message saying, "Hey, I like this episode, and I can relate to that because I used to do this and do that." Zippity doo da, zippity yay! I got my own way today. Hey, and give me your first name. I don't know, maybe where you're from, which you talk Kansas or something, and um. We'll listen to them. We're going to pick them out. We'll pick one. We'll pluck one here and there. We'll make you the feature on the show. We're going to start ping-ponging off each other. Your life stories filter into our life stories. All the generations that the Dean Bodie is going to be tapping into, you're going to be amazed on how much crossover we really have. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be fun. Again, 800-878-9698. So... Man, let me tell you, Dean Bodie Show, D E A N B O D I, Space Show, YouTube channel, Dean Bodie Podcasts, where you get podcasts, Apple, Spotify, all the main platforms were on there, and DeanBodie.com. You can go on there too. And there's the links right on the website. You can blast one, go take you right to the podcast, and the other link, uh, the YouTube, you'll see the little symbol, that little arrow thing they got, that like press play button. And that'll blast you over to the YouTube channel. Uh, this kind of back and forth, forth and back, as we say, Dean Bodie, is fun. It goes back and forth. It's amazing to me that the link's attached to the other link. And you can go here and go over there just like lightning speed. And I'm in awe of the technology every time I use it. Whoa. Wasn't too long ago we were doing the rotary phone. I got news for you. We were walking up to the TV and turning the channel by hand. Hello. <laughs> Seriously, the old clock radio to set an alarm. This and that, man. We're talking old school. You set the channel, kind of like Ron Popeil. You set it and forget it, because otherwise you're walking up back and forth. There. Just put channel four on, will ya? Put on All in the Family. You know? You, meathead, you get out of my chair. Hey, Edith, tell meathead to get out of my chair. <laughs> Stuff like that, shows like that. Meathead. That's the only show I know that ever used the word meathead. All in the family. I don't even think that show would be allowed on the air today with what we got going on now. Holy moly, Archie Bunker. <laughs> so check this out. Before I get into some things that are, I'm going to call it Pet Peeve Wednesday today because, hello, Febreze, the squirt bottle and the spray, I'm coming at you today, Okay. The tissue boxes, the tissues, when you pull them out, I'm coming at you also. But first, I'm going to talk about how I had a major anxiety attack today. Look, I'm looking at you right now. Those of you that struggle with it, depersonalization, derealization, I, um, I am diagnosed with being bipolar also. Oh, God forbid I ended up with something. Let's see. Little League football, concussions. Let's see. Wrestling, concussions. Slammed on my head a few times. Let's see. Um, soccer, bouncing the ball off of my head. All those years. And they talk about concussions now. Oh, I was getting whaled on. No question about it. Little 65 pound, I don't care. The helmet and you're smashing into each other's heads or playing in someone's backyard and banging your heads and... You know, at the time I got whacked in the face with a golf club, my uncle came to visit, wham, he lifts me up and hits me in the ceiling. My uh, Pinewood Acres day camp behind the home plate, the bat smacked me in the head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mix that with some, uh, all these years in the nightclub business and doing a little too much drinking and drugs and all that stupid crap. Hey, here we are, the mixed bag. Hey, somebody pull this crazy train into the station. Anyway, so what did I have to do? First thing I did, <clears throat> I'm looking right at you. I'm getting a little emotional right now because I'm keeping it real. Dean Bodie, real stories, real time stuff. I'm not playing around here. Okay? So, I went and I lied down for a little bit. 
my body just shut down. It was like somebody pulled the power cord out of my body and went, yeah, boom, wicked so low where I'm not walking anywhere now. Go lay down. I did a little power nap recharge. I got up, had something healthy to eat, uh, some supplementation, you know, good multi, like we talk about, the whole food mineral, guzzled a bunch of water as water is the great equalizer because water is over 80% of our body. So start pounding that and hydrate. I felt a thousand times better, but it's going to happen. You're going to get through it. If I can get through it, you can get through it. So recognize it. Oh, hi, Mr. Anxiety, Mr. Depersonalization, Derealization. Oh, you decided to show up today. Well, good for you. Thanks for coming by. You know, kind of like the old days when you used to have company come over. Would you like a little slice of Entenmann's cake? Would you like a little muffin and some coffee? Come on in. Sit down with the anxiety. Have a little conversation. Then go bye bye it's going to be fine. But that's how you got to have to handle it. Try to handle it with a little bit of a sense of humor, but you got to take care of your body with the good nutrition and all the other things that common sense tells you to dial in. So your uh, body chemistry and your nervous system can recalibrate and balance out. Understand that. It's going to go down sometimes. It's going to go up sometimes. And sometimes you'll be right in the middle. It's the wild ride. I want to handle it head on naturally. I've tried the others and this and that. If you got to get through a crisis and you're working with your MD, your doctor or whoever, and, you, and it's balancing you out until you can figure out the other, the nutrition and getting your body dialed in and maybe you can start weaning the other way, that's between you and your doctor. But however it is, get it right between the ears. Know it's going to be okay. Some of you are on a few year stretch or longer um, and think it's never going to go away. Or you're listening to people saying, it's never going to go away. I've had it for 10 years, this and that. I've had it for on and off for over 25 years. They, it will go away if you put your body in an environment so it can fix itself. Most people don't change. Most people still want to keep doing the drugs and the alcohol and the weed and uh, the Diet Coke and the monster drinks and all the sugar and all that garbage and think that that has nothing to do with the healing. Major. It's so major, I can't say it enough. So look at me. I'm looking at you. You got to handle that part. You got to give your body a chance to heal. How long is it going to take? However long it takes. Give your body a year of doing the right thing, and then at least you'll know the difference. That's why we have this thing. We're vibrating at a super high level, and somebody wants to come and kick the stool out from under my feet sometimes and go, not going nowhere right now. Okay, we pick ourselves up, we keep moving forward. It's going to happen. Okay, and um, that's how you got to deal with it. That's all. And the duration of the problem gets shorter and shorter. Okay. Hey, Millie, you hear what he said? What did he say? He said the duration gets shorter and shorter when you treat your body the right way and do the healthy methods. Oh, okay. All right, so Pet Peeve Wednesday, are you ready? Yeah, we're adding a little thing right now. Pet Peeve Wednesday, Febreze. Whether it's the, the, the fabric one or whether it's the aerosol, the spray, because, you know, sometimes I like a little spritzy here and there. Can you get the spray bottles handled? Can you get it to where like, you do two squirts and then it runs out and you can hear all that other stuff still left? Who's doing that? Lock the trigger so nobody uses it in the grocery store and empties the whole container when we buy a brand new one because it feels like it's brand new. Enough. Okay? Fix it. And the one's the fabric one. When the trigger breaks, can you just get the spray bottle dialed in? Isn't that the main part of this, the product so we can use it the way you give it to us? Spray, spray, spritz, spritz. If the spray and the spritz isn't working, how are we going to use it? Fix it. The tissue people. When I pull a tissue out, I want one. I don't want three or four. Why do you make us get three or four sometimes and you latch it on like that? Is it because you want to sell more tissues? Shut it down. I want one at a time. Fix it. You're not fooling me, none. All right. That's the pet peeve there. Anyways. So, making it. I'm on the top. We're taking it. 
No more, no more faking it. Da 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 da, we're making it. Dean Bodie, bam da 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 da. Dean Bodie, bam da da. Um, so. Now we're having a great day, and I wanted to uh, go through that pet peeve thing. And remember, 800-878-9698, the new Dean Bodie hotline. And um, <clears throat> I'm looking at something here because I don't want to leave it out and shortchange my fans. Everything's growing. I had a meeting with the marketing today. The SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, way over my head. But we're going to try to get it dialed in because Dean Bodie's climbing. We're going. We're going to find the number one slot. We're not stopping until we get there. On our way. So, I want to talk about something here. Dr. Dean's going to drop some knowledge here. Dr. Dean dropping knowledge. Hey, Millie. Yeah? Dr. Dean's about to drop some knowledge. Oh, awesome. Motion is life. Things that don't move are dead. What, do I'm, what is he talking about? What I'm talking about is motion. Whether it's motion in your spine, motion in your hand joints, your knee joints or ankle joints, things that don't move are what? Dead. Sedentary lifestyle, bad. Activity, good. Get up and move. Have you ever heard of something called your lymphatic system? Oh, man, he's going to get into it today. The lymphatic system is the garburator of your body. Or the disposal. I grew up with the word disposal, not garburator. I think garburator goes up towards whoever is from Canada or up north or whatever, close to Canada. They like the word garburator. Disposal. Disposal is what I use, but we can go garburator. They're interchangeable, but the lymphatic system is the garburator of your body. You got lymph nodes under here, your arms, and in the groin area, and other areas of your body. Filters out all the toxins, but how does it work? It works through deep muscular movement or deep diaphragmatic breathing. It's not fortunate like the circulatory system that has a heart that pumps the blood. This you have to move, right? So when you do that deep diaphragmatic breathing and muscular movement, meaning walking, exercising, etc., that's how your lymphatic system works and removes toxins and things like that. You don't move, things get clogged up. When things get clogged up, you get problems. You get aches and pains. You know, that's, keep the toxins out of your body. So when you're exercising, that's why it's the importance of drinking the water, flushing your system out, okay? So that's the lymphatic system lesson. Understand it works through deep diaphragmatic breathing. We went over those breathing exercises last time. Oh yeah, deep muscular, muscular movement through exercise and walking and get out and moving around, don't sit around and get all clogged up. You're not gonna feel well. And the arthritis and things start to break down in your body. Why do you think your body sets in that arthritis and stuff like that and lays down all those calcium deposits, which I'm gonna call spackling, because it's very smart. Not because it's dumb. It's saying, oh, well, thank you for treating your body like garbage. Now I'm gonna have to put this spackling down in your spine or in the knee, because in the, especially in the spine, because it knows the spinal cord is right there. It knows in the upper part, the brain stem is right there. If we don't do something to anchor this, we're gonna be dead. It's protecting itself. Genius. So look at that as a protective kind of mechanism. Hey, Bill, thanks for treating your body like this for 30 years. We're gonna have to fuse these areas down here so you don't get paralyzed. Motion is life. Things that don't move are dead. You got to move. The discs in the spine between the vertebrae, they get their nutrition through movement, through the vertebrae above and below, through movement. Awesome. <laughs> so take that for what it is, but that's the important, that's the Dr. Dean drop of knowledge on that today, okay? So we're going to be, uh, I'm taking you down a little bit of a hard fork here. From the time that I, oh my God, here we go. I tried out for the dating game back in the late 80s. If you remember the dating game. And it was at a place called Sneakers. It was like a nightclub in Marietta, Georgia. They were taking auditions. So I showed up 
and I got picked to audition. So this is a show where you sit in a panel and like the men, okay? And the girl would be um, asking the guys questions behind the, the door or whatever, and we'd have to answer it. And whoever's answer she liked the best, she'd pick them. And they, they'd put them on a date, they let them go out to dinner, the show would take care of it. It was kind of a cute show. And so I remember coming up with these questions and we went through the process of sitting on the panel as they were interviewing us and letting us try out for the show. And I came up with some silly ones like, uh, oh, if you were a, a, a chocolate bar, which one would you be and why? Universal face. So <laughs> needless to say, I did not get picked for the next round. I gave it my best shot. I wore my Don Johnson outfit back in the day, if you remember Miami Vice. I had the white outfit, the little blue undershirt. I thought, I was, I thought that I was Don Johnson in the white shoes. I thought I was Don. Another, another time, later down the road, I'm gonna, well, about mid 90s or so. I don't know, actually, it was later late 90s, maybe early 2000, I tried out for the show Survivor. Oh, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I heard about the tryouts there. So I go there, there's a line around the corner. Hundreds of people, they're giving you the paperwork. You gotta sign and you gotta do all this stuff. You gotta answer all these questions. You finally get to where it's showtime and you go in front of the camera. And after all of that time and waiting, I was a nervous wreck. Because you want to get in front of the camera and tell them about yourself and try to make an impression and be a little different than somebody so you get noticed. And I don't know. I, was, I, I felt like I was prepared all the way until I got to the front in front of the camera. And it was like deer in headlights. Huh? I'm, hi, I'm, uh, I'm Dean. Uh, pick me. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't make the next cut on that one either. But let me tell you, you ever get an opportunity to try out for some of these shows, it's a lot of fun, man. You know, back in the day when we used to wear parachute pants and crazy boots with zippers on them that went up to the ankle high and going to stores like Chess King and Merry-Go-Round and buying shirts that had little shackles on the shoulder and parachute pants with all the zippers. Yes, I had a few different colored parachute pants. These were the real thin pants. I think they were actually made out of parachute material. I never had the red. Just like I never owned a red car. Shout out to my nephew Logan, who's taking grandma out in the new red car today, Challenger. I never had a red car. I never had the red parachute pants, but I had a pair of black. For some reason, I chose a pair of aqua, okay? And I think silver, gray. And we go out in the town wearing these things, man. And these crazy outfits back then. And we thought we were like, we were it wearing this stuff. But that was the style back in the day in these little zipper boots halfway up. But man, you know, I never had a red car. I don't know why I never wanted to own a red car. I think for the reason that as statistics show, red cars get pulled over more. I already had enough trouble in my life. That's all I need to do is Wildcat Dean to be run cruising around in a red car like he's a big shot. You know, never wanted to go red for that reason alone. So maybe that was the reason with the red, even with the parachute pants, need to slow myself down as a human. No red car, slow myself down and no speeding tickets and all that stuff. Kind of strange. Little bit of a mental block there with the red, you know. Anyway, DeanBody.com, Dean Bodie Podcast, wherever you get podcasts. Podcast at Google, Spotify, 800-878-9698. Call the number. Leave a cool little message. Keep it short and concise. We don't have it all day. Leave an hour of your life story. Get to the point. We'll use it and make you the feature on the show. Let's build this community. We're growing every day. We're so excited. We thank you so much. And don't forget Dean Bodie Show, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show is the YouTube channel. Man, we're growing every day, like I said. We're getting it dialed in. And da -na -da -da -na -da -na -da. Dean Bodie Show. DeanBodie.com. Have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow.